Remember, boy? Now what's that? What's up, soul squad? What's up, my soul squad? How you guys doing today? What's up, soul squad? It is Saturday, and she is late. But I left a message to you guys I was going to be late. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? I'm going to put the glasses on. I see something. Star B. Such a pretty lady. There we go. What's up, Susan Q? What's up, Debbie? What's up, Karen? What's up, family? Hi. Hey, life with I'm Jennifer. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Katrina. Katrina. You in Atlantic City. Okay. Hey, she frozen too, star. Hey, hey, she nice. That's that deer park on deck. And she frozen. Hey, Terrell. Hey, Constance. Oh, I got two different types of fingernail polish on. Look at that. <laughs> I was playing the fingernails. <laughs> um... Hey, y'all, what's up? Happy Saturday. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Okay. Before... I am doing fine, panel. Before we get started, you know what we got to do. If you ain't do it today, yesterday, this week, a year, month, we're going to do it today. I'd like to thank God for waking us up, spending another day with our family and friends. Because remember, that alarm clock didn't wake you up. He did. Can I get an amen? Amen. Happy Saturday. Hey, Elena, how you doing, baby? Miss Williams. Hey, Mix, I'm telling you guys, today is a beautiful day. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling vibrant. Hey, I just had a good heart-to-heart -heart conversation with my boys. We were sitting around just conversating. And I said, ooh, y'all got to go live. It's almost 3 o'clock. Uh, I'm just sitting here chilling with my sons and just talking about certain upcoming things and um yeah and i just i like when me and my sons we get oh uh, thank you lean i gotta do something about these bumps right here but you know what i think did that i'm not even gonna lie i'm not gonna fake i think that um what's that thing i used the other when i did that video three four videos ago i used that um what is that thing called Y'all remember the video I used and I used that thing? I think it put these bumps right here. Um, yeah, so I'm mad about that. So I'm not using that anymore. Now I gotta find a way to get rid of these, um, get uh get rid of these bumps right here. And I think that thing did that. Because you know, I looked that up and it said like when you do stuff, it, it the hairs will go back up into your skin and cause that. And this is we are not doing this. Mm -mm. We get girl, y'all know we cannot do that. Mm -mm. That I ain't gonna lie, it made me kind of self conscious. Um, when I looked at, it, I said, "Ooh, I don't even know if I want to go live." I said, "Look at this, it, it is." You know, I'm a female, I'm a woman, so our parents, when I do decide to get it all done up, certain things don't look right. It make me feel funny. Um, so um, I was yeah, I was I was kind of like self conscious, yeah. I don't like that, um, but I'm going to find some way to, um, to fix it. Somebody said alcohol, I'm going to just clean it up with some alcohol, open up my pores and stuff. Hey, Sabrina, and drink plenty of water. Hey, Angela, yes. Yeah. yeah, that laser hair removal, I believe that's what did it because it came right after. Mm. I'm mad about that. Piss sad faces. <laughs> I know you that you still cute. <laughs> Look, you ain't know so I said so. And that's because when I'm looking into the camera, my I don't know, my eyes is taking me directly there. You know, we all got imperfections. And because none of us are perfect. And and the hardest person that's 
that's harder on your imperfection is yourself. You would notice things about yourself that you think that is just so visible that to stand out so much that you will rock, rock your brain and constantly be assessed about it. And then you get around a person, they may not even notice it. They won't notice it until you um. And, and so you pointed out and they'd be like, girl, I didn't pay that no mind. But then your psyche be like, this bitch lying. You know she's, you know she's so mean. <laughs> uh, you know, that's, just, that's, what your, that's what your psyche would be like. Sorry, Lord, for saying that. But you know, this felt like that was just right at that moment. I do apologize. But oh, um, <laughs> I'm still trying, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, and it's just like, we all got things insecurities are the worst yes we all got so many insecurities you know what i'm saying some that we some that we notice other people won't notice our flaws or notice our insecurities and things like that and um and right now this is what i'm dealing with for me in the last week and putting up videos it's like every time i look into the camera and i'm trying to make a video instead of me being focused on what video i'm about to do or being focused on what 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 needs to happen the only thing that i'm looking at and that's reflecting back to me is what's going on on my face and i'm just like oh my god oh my god, oh my god. and the crazy thing about that is that i could just throw up this wall so quick about this but i can't throw up the walls about this i done got so comfortable and I know so I said, what in the world? Yeah, I just scared a couple of people. That's okay. You all know. <laughs> but it's just like in in time, you'll get used to things, you'll get over things and stuff like that. You know, this don't, even though I know that's another flaw that I need to work on, I want to work on, but you know, it's just that this is like it just hit me so directly. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk about today. I want to talk about insecurities and our flaws and how do we react to them? How do we let them make us feel? Do we do we obsess on them? You know, do we do, do we get carried away? Do it breaks you down? Do it end up leading you to depression? I mean, how, you know, I read your comments. You can put them in and uh, most definitely you could go back and, um, write stuff in the comments but that is a serious thing that is another that's another thing that mess with our mental that that, that could depress us and if you have to learn some things that we can't fix we can't get rid of we can't um it's just it's just what it is it's just there it's a part of your everyday existing and, and some certain things will leave people in the house it will make you an introvert. It will make you don't want to go outside. And you could be so radiant and so beautiful to everyone else. But when you look in that mirror, you're just so much concentrating on what on what is wrong with you. You'll never see what is right with you. And I know it's easier said than done. But if we always concentrate on the negative, on I was say no edges, my legs going bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, I got look, I'm right there with you. Okay. No edges. Um, arthritis in the legs, arthritis in the hands. Man, this body is breaking down. <laughs> look, and so I'm working with a lot of things that that's wrong with me. And the most, the most, the most frightening thing that I'm working with now is that oh, quick FYI, y'all. <laughs> We, as of today, and I want to make an announcement, as of today, no one need to send in any more $5 to our um, Give Back, um, our, our give back um, campaign to sponsor family for um, the host of family for Thanksgiving. As of today, we are up $225. And so I just wanted to give a shout out Um Thank you, Soul Squad. Thank you for participating. Every dime that everyone sent was well appreciated. Um, we will videos will be coming up next week. I'm thinking while we eating our Thanksgiving dinner, I think I'm gonna I'm drop the video on Wednesday. Cause while we eating our Thanksgiving dinner or the day before, you guys get to see who we gave, who we giving the um the visa card to. My brother suggested, like a lot of you guys suggested. He said since people eat so differently these days, somebody may be a vegetarian. 
vegan. Somebody, people don't like gluten or somebody may not like pork. He said, what well, one of you guys has suggested, we're going to go ahead and just take the 225 and I'm going to put it in a Visa card. That way, whatever store that I'm at and I decided who I decided to give that card to, they had the opportunity to buy the type of foods that works for their family. Because, you know, I always say your family your way, my family my way. So, yes. So, um, and I don't want to take that because they may have a different plan or whatever. So, what we're going to do is that we're going to put the money in a gift card. Most it's like your Visa gift card I could buy out the grocery store. And I'm going to present it to whoever. I still don't figure out. I'm just going to walk up on somebody um, at a store and present them with the card. The video will be up on Wednesday. Um, so, yeah. So, you guys get to see the video on Wednesday. So, yeah. Yeah, that was you, yeah, Juanita, yeah. And so that's what we decided to do versus the, my sister and my brother was like, no, because you don't know who might eat this, who may be allergic to this. And that way, they'll be able to get their own Thanksgiving the way they want to give it. And that, you know, we was able to give back to someone this year. And if this worked out successfully, very successfully, I was thinking about maybe doing something for Christmas, another $5 donation, and then we'll try to go to a shelter. We have a lot of shelters in the DMV area with a lot of families in it, and we could like pick out a family at a shelter, and we could sponsor a family at a shelter or something. I just want to start giving back to show my appreciation on, the, you know, the things that you guys do for me here. And then, you know, it's just that time of year that we want to give back to people. So that's why I want to give y'all a quick FYI update. Um, so say, what'd you say, Juanita? You said sofa tea. Oh. I got to see what Juanita said. Oh. Y'all. Y'all know I got some mess up hands. Shut up, Jackson. Or items all the time. That's good, Juanita. I I do that too. Not all the time. I'm not gonna tell them a lot. But I have been in the store, somebody a couple of dollars short, and I'd be like, oh, I got it, you know, and stuff like that. Especially if I had it. And if I didn't have it, of course, you know, I couldn't do it. But I have been in a predicament where I've been in the store with someone is a couple of dollars short, and I'll tell that person, that's okay, I'll get it for them. Because it has been done to me um back in the day when I really needed it, and a person didn't know that I needed it, and they one or two dollars was a difference on whether or not I was able to get my groceries. So that is a wonderful thing to do, a give back. Jackson got a story. See, that's what I'm saying. See, Jackson had a store. Hey, sister. Just like Jackson said, one day he was um, um when he was on the dance team. They was in the store. He paid for all of his dance team people's stuff. And then when it got time to pay for his stuff, he didn't have enough money. And he said the lady behind him told the cash register, to the cashier, that's okay. He can still get it. I will pay for it. And see, and it be things like that that hit you that people don't even know that they saving you from something just like what that. And that's food? the groceries, the food line. Okay. Um. Yeah. So the, those are type of things that you just never know, and, and it's and it's worth giving back to people. You know what I'm saying? People do that all the time. And this is small. Again, we talk about how the small little things on my morning thoughts. It's the small little things that you could do that could transform and make somebody's day. But okay, because we know we skip. This is on the cows. Um, we skip all over the place. So. The breast milk, yes, West Coast. That that's true too. That I could do that too, and it could just be a donation towards for them. You you right about that. That yes, thank you for that. See, y'all just give me ideas because I'll just say hunt everything. 
<laughs> I just said give it all to one. But you're right. If we could break two, what, 225 divided by what, three, like somebody said, $75? <laughs> if we could just, and this is a donation of $75 towards whatever they were already getting. That's, you know, that's, that's, that could go a long way for anybody. So thank you. That was, that's a great idea. And you know, I go with it. Oh, girl, I had my phone on Do Not Disturb because I did a makeup. Get ready with me makeup routine. Video be up at 6 o'clock. And that's why I'm all dolled up and my fingernails all done. I didn't do this hand on camera, but I did this hand on camera. I did a makeup, my makeup routine. What I be trying to look like when I do hit these streets, sis. <laughs> so I have my phone do not disturb. And I just did the video, so that video be up at 6 o'clock. Look, if I ain't going out the house, I'm trying to get some type of vlogs and stuff up for you guys. Um, so, yeah, so I did um, my makeup routine. So, yeah, that video will be up at 6 o'clock. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I showed you how I wrapped my little scarf on my head and everything. Um, Yeah, so, a girl, I got a whole nail kit, boo. What was I ready to tell you? You're going to see it in the upcoming video. It's a sponsor video, too. I did, they got this whole nail kit. It's a sponsor video that's coming up. All the stuff out of it, man. <laughs> But yes, they gave me the um different colors. They gave me the cuticle um the cuticle thing to um to treat your cuticles, the little like, oil stuff. Then they gave the before the the before coating, the different nail polish, then the after coating, and then they gave me the machine to dry my nails in. It's all gonna be in my video at six o'clock. Okay, and um, so TV come over here. We can do nails and stuff. Um, so um. Y'all be having me all only place I'll be jumping from one spot because my subject day we was talking about the insecurities because I wanted to let people know, even though you focus on your insecurity, uh um uh, Sabrina, what well, a day is the last day, and it's um dollar sign T A T A. Stop that stomping, dollar sign T A T A. Seventeen fifty one. That's my cash out, and I was only accepting five dollar donations. Um, dollar sign T A T A seventeen fifty one, and the day is the last day. Um, so yeah, cause we gonna be doing this. The video gonna be up on Wednesday. Uh, thank you, I need it. Thank everybody. Said my nails looking cute. Yeah. So um, Tuesday. This is on the way. <laughs> um, and so. One of my insecurities that I wanted to talk about is that I wanted to like take aim and focus on this because I wanted to get the conversation started. Um, yes, Ellie, I can. And next time we back in Philly, I want to get the conversation started just because another insecurity that I've been wearing, been wearing really thick on me is that, um, and I noticed that I, I, when, I, when I'm out in public, hey, I'm a plump woman. I got accesses, okay? Access. And it, they all over the place. You know, I got the thighs. I got the round butt. I got the boobs. And everything be sitting and poking and pumping. And, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, I never worry about people looking at me. Because when I go out, I always try to be present myself. You know, be clean. You know, be up to the part. You know, looking good. You know, everybody in a stern eyes. I don't go out looking any type of way. Sometimes I may just go out real quick, come back. But... I have been thinking, y'all, we are going to Atlanta. And this is something that's been, ever since we booked our plane tickets. Oh, y'all, I'm coming to Atlanta. Yeah, it's on your wallet, and it got a picture of some food. And I can't show you because the cash app that it's on is on the phone that I'm on now live with. It have a picture of, I believe it's a picture of food I got on there. And Tanya Waller. Okay, thank you, Sabrina. So, one of my insecurities that I really just been dealing with since we booked our tickets. Oh, yeah, so it's official. Come on, I'm December the 3rd. If you're in the ATL, um, by the time the day after, by Friday, I'm going to check 10 community posts, check my community posts, and um, you'll see where we're going to be at in Atlanta, the time and the day. And if you want to come out and meet us, you can, but just put it like this. It is a pop-up shop. It is a pop-up shop. Even though me and my sister are back, in, um, back, back, um, back, damn, back in eyes. Oh, my God, what is wrong with me? Vaccinated. <laughs> 
even though me and my sister are vaccinated, we will still be doing what? We will still be wearing our masks. We will still ask everyone who come to see us, please wear your mask. We are going to help my cousin. My cousin lives in Atlanta. She sells dinners. That's something she's been doing for the last two months. She sells dinners every Sunday. Saturday and Sunday um, from her home. But this time she coming, she's going to do a pop-up. And um, if anybody in the ATL area, if you're not too far away, you want to come and help and support a small black business and things like that, you can come on out. The information is going to be on our community board on Friday or Saturday. Um, this weekend, this week, next week coming. Uh, yeah, Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving. Yeah. And um, I'm going to see if she have a menu. Yeah, somebody, yeah, I got that. It was seven dollars. Yeah, I got that too. He gave it to me. Um, um, I meant to say how much it was. I'm sorry. Well, I just want you to know that we did get it. Yeah, I got that. Um, so um, you know, be mindful that it's still a pandemic out here. Be mindful that even you know, have even though I um we gonna have our mask on, you know. I would like it that if everybody wear their mask, you know. That's just me. That is how I'm feeling. And quite and quite frankly, if, and I don't know if Atlanta is not mask free, but for me, if you don't have your mask on, don't think I I just can't meet you, baby. I mean, we're going to do things right, and I'm going to be real honest with you. If you don't wear your mask, if you come and get your plate of food, and you want to say hi and things, like we're going to have hand sanitizers, we're going to have hand sanitizers, Clorox wipes, and um, and I might have a box of extra masks if you pull up, because if you're just like me, and you hop in that car, you get excited to get on the road, you may forget your mask. So we're going to have a box of masks, we're going to have hand sanitizers, we're going to have Clorox wipes, and, um, and you come up, you if you forget your mask because everybody we do i do it a lot my sister could tell you um we can hand you a mask you can sanitize your hands and then you know we can meet each other you know it's that some we could we could keep it cool and we could keep it you know yes because i want to support my cousin okay so let's talk about the insecurities that i was talking about this is my first time on an airplane we was going to drive uh yes that's true too, Juanita. Thank you. We was gonna drive and then we decided to do the airplane because we nobody got time for that 16, 17 hour drive. I know you guys was willing to come along and everything, but on the road trip, but since I'm not the driver and I want to make my sister as comfortable as possible, y'all, I bought a plane ticket. Me, T, and Andrew got our plane tickets. It's official. We will be in Atlanta. We got our plane tickets. I ain't trying to lose my money. But one of my insecurities was about my weight. I thought about, you know, getting on this airplane, being a plus size woman, plus size um, full figure woman. I thought about, you know, am I going to fit on this plane? Is people going to look at me and say, oh, look at this fat lady get on the plane? I mean, this has been rolling through my mind over and over and over again and this is my first time on the plane so i will be vlogging my first experience on the plane so for, for anyone who for who never been on the plane or if you are a plus size woman you've been afraid to get on a plane because you're scared what your journey may be once you get on that plane so i'm going to take you through all that i want you to see it through through my eyes as being a first time on um, plane rider and also being um um, a, a full figure woman on how you know I felt the plane was it, it felt for me how things had to get adjusted and things have to get adjusted for me and stuff like that so this is going to be um it's going to be a, a good old nice little vlog so yeah we're going to be there um for four days from the second to the sixth so we we gonna be there from the second to the sixth, I think. It's like from Thursday to Monday. So we leaving Monday morning. So yeah, yeah. And so, well, I was told that I don't have to get that on Southwest. You have to be over six hundred plus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not six hundred plus. Oh, so I don't have to do the two seater. So that was a good thing. I don't have to do a two-seater, but, um, yeah, we're going to give you, we got Airbnb. We're doing the Airbnb, no hotel. 
<laughs> yeah, so I don't have to do the two seater. We found that out. Um, and with Southwest, I was told I may not have to do the extended seat belt because your girl gonna be um I'm gonna be safe when I get on this plane, okay? But uh yeah, so this is also not even just um my first time, it's my son Andrew's first time on an airplane. T had been on a plane before. So T had been on a plane maybe once or twice or maybe three times already. T has been on the plane. She's ready. She's glad that I decided um, uh, hey Eva. Oh, you welcome, baby. And so um Tia, Tia, this is not new to Tia, but me and Andrew, um, but me and Andrew, this is our first time, so we're going to do good. I think it's going to do good, and I like the fact that it's only a two-hour flight. That's one thing. It's a two-hour flight. I don't have to worry about sitting a long time and my knees hurting and things like that. It's two hours, so I'm, I'm looking to, like, get in and get out. Yeah, get in and get out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I heard the seats. The seats are bigger on on Southwest, so I was told that I would be all right. I would be good, especially since it's a two hour plan. Because I told Jackson because Jackson waited to the last minute and say he want to go to Atlanta with us. And I said, you done? You sure? I said, I don't got no more. I'm broke. So I told him, I said, since you don't want to, he waited to the last minute. I kept asking Jackson when we were um driving, I kept asking Jackson, do you want to go to Atlanta? Do you want to go to Atlanta? Because y'all know he do homeschool on the computer. We can take our computer with him. Then it's the weekend. He's like, no, I don't want to go. No, I don't want to go. Right after we book our tickets, this family going to tell me on yesterday, we booked the tickets like on Monday. He going to tell me on yesterday, mom, can I go to Atlanta? I said, no. I said, you can't go. I said, because since back then, when I asked you that you wanted to go, you told me no. You told you told me no. It is too late because you got to have money to buy your tickets. Anyway, I told him no. I said, because what? I'm talking about literally. Literally, I got literally. Wait, I'm, I mean, like, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on what he's telling me. Basically, like, I mean, it's not too late to go to Atlanta. Um, we might go next year. Oh, wait, I, I, good boy, I'm not talking about next year. I'm talking about now. It's too late for you go with me now. So basically, I told him that if I like the plane ride to Atlanta, we're gonna do um. We're going to do Florida for Christmas. I told him I'll take him to Florida for Christmas. Because my cousin who lives in Atlanta, she's going to Florida for Christmas. And so um, I told him, well, since he ain't going to Atlanta with us because he lost his turn, you know, I kept asking. You said no. So I'm going to take him to Florida. She said, I love the child. I'm a big girl. So we going to, y'all, y'all might get more balls because we might be in Florida for the holidays. Because I'm trying to go out. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying. And then that's my one of my own insecurities is that I'm afraid of doing, doing things. I'm afraid of going places. I'm afraid that if I fall, my knees. Because one of, one of my things is that um, I'm afraid of falling. I, I fear falling every day when I get out here and I walk and I go places or I, and go down steps and stuff. One of my insecurities is that I'm going to fall and that that hinders me from wanting to go out and I'm trying to break free from that. So it's a lot of things that's myself that I'm trying to work on. Hey, Miami, that I'm trying to work on. And these are my insecurities that I feel, that I feel that holds me back. And I feel that I'm trying to break free from, you know, the fear of falling. Because, you know, I got arthritis. I got bad legs. I fear falling. And so, and I try not to think of, yeah, I try not to think about, so me too, Tony, because um, my right knee is back. Yeah. So I'm trying to like. Get out of that, you know. I'm trying to go places, trying to travel, trying to do things more, you know. Get out of my comfort zone. I don't want to be like stuck in the house, and you know, I just make my videos and I be in the house and stuff. So, and I got the blog, and I want to travel because I want to come to California. California is a five hour, five hour flight. For, from here so I was like if I get on this airplane and I had such a great experience I told Jackson we must definitely go to Florida I meet up with my family in Florida they going to Orlando next month he said I'll be in Miami well they going to um Orlando 
if I'm saying it right, she booking something for Orlando because she has a daughter. And I said, well, me and Jackson, Andrew, and T and Tyree, we catch a plane and um, we, we going down. We're going to be in Florida for Christmas. More blogs for you guys. More, more places we can get out. And then y'all know in May, we got our family reunion with our family. We going to the Bahamas. And so I was like, this get me ready for the family reunion because um, we going to the Bahamas in May. I got to get on the airplane, go to the Bahamas. I can't miss out going with my family. So I'm trying to like um, get over all these insecurities and, and, and get myself out. Yeah, from not being scared, Sabrina. And just I'm trying to live my best life. Because, you know, I always tell you guys, we ain't got but one life. And, you know, I don't want to be stuck. I want to have fun. You know what I'm saying? Somebody say, come to Oregon and visit me, Miss Rita. <laughs> Oh, uh, you come to Sydney. Oh, let me. Oh, well, yes, I want to come to. I want to come to California. Um, uh, I want to come. And and, and 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 at this point, Eva, I'm not even trying to let. And I know it's a real thing, but I'm always mindful. And because I believe that right now in this day and time, I really believe that the pandemic, um. It's not going anywhere. I believe that COVID is not going nowhere. I believe this is something just like the flu and everything else. I believe this is here with us and it's here to stay with us. And so what we all have to do is just be mindful of our surroundings. Do what's best for you. Don't let it. At first, at the beginning, that was another reason why I was afraid to go out. Is that, you know, because of COVID. I don't want to go this place. I don't want to go that way. I don't want nobody to breathe on me. I'm scared. But, um... I, if we let that, that's going to be another thing that hold us back because I really feel that we have to learn to adapt and live with it because I believe it's not going nowhere. So I just believe that as individuals, we make our choices and we take the risk if we decide to do, but you do it carefully. Like I said, you have your hand sanitizers, you wear your mask, even if you're vaccinated, you still do the right things that you're supposed to do. I'm like, if I go to a state and a state it's not man it's not mandating a um, mask guess what just because that state that state is not mandating mask you are your own individual and you know what you feel like so even though i go to a state and they're not mandating mask guess what to make me feel comfortable they to make me um be more relaxed guess what i'm wearing my mask because i just feel like yes i want to go to hawaii that's my dream vacation journey that's my dream vacation. So even though I decide to go to Florida, even though I decide to go to the ATL to Atlanta, the whole time me and my sister and my son, we're going to be masked up. We're going to be doing the right thing. I'm not going to try to let nothing stop me. And, um, but I'm not going to be all nilly willy and just jump out there from state to state to state to state. But right now, I'm putting my best foot forward. I'm getting on this airplane and I'm getting out here because I want to go support my cousin. You know, family is everything. And she's trying to start a new business. And I like the fact that she do live in Atlanta and they allow you to cook and sell food from your home. They allow you to advertise it and all that stuff. The restrictions in D.C. is crazy. We can't do a lot of that here. Even Texas allow you to sell dinners. Because I knew a young lady in Texas who sold dinners. And she was telling me about Texas um, um, Texas um, cottage laws. Everybody, cottage laws are so different from D.C. D.C. is so uptight. It's like they got a stick jammed up their butt. That they are so uptight on things. You can't do this. You can't do that. But when you got these other states, their cottage laws are so much easier, um, so much um, better. And I like it. So I'm going to ACL. I'm going to support my cousin in her dream and what she's doing. And she's been doing really, um, she's been doing really well. And every time I want to tell y'all the name of her food thing, I keep forgetting. I think it's called Made with Love. I think it's called Made with Love. And it, yeah. <laughs> KMT World. <laughs> um. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Um, but hi, KT's world. I ain't seen you guys in Lena. How you doing? And um, so yeah, um, that just say watch the blogs. 
all the AT, all the AT uh, vlogs will be part of my um, Christmas Vlogmas. Because y'all know I'm trying to jump in on Vlogmas. I'm doing Vlogmas this year. So that ATL is actually, all them vlogs on ATL is going to be the first beginning of my Vlogmas videos. And I say watch the vlogs. I got surprises and things coming up that's going on when I hit the ATL for these four days. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, hey Miss uh, Answer. Yes, she did, and we had so much fun. Yeah, reserve a medical scooter. Yeah, in advance, so you won't have to walk. That's what someone told me about the airport. Um, to do that. Um, for um, I'll get some West Coast on disposal glove. It isn't. It's in the works, Miss Coleman. Yeah, so why is my dream vacation too? I did, but you know what, Miss Moon? <sighs> I did wanted that. I did. I wanted that so bad. But I don't think I want that no more. I, I, I don't think I want that no more. And it's not because, if for one, it's a lot of work. A lot of business fell in the first six months to a year in that restaurant business. Uh, regardless if you're people say oh if you do it i come like that movie feels a dream you build it and they will come they may but will they continue to come with 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 it, with it? i mean it, it is so much to think to think into that you know what i'm happy doing honestly i am happy doing what i'm doing with my products i am happy developing products i am happy with the product development because at the end of the day I do have bad knees. I have really bad arthritis. I have bad arthritis in my hands and stuff. Y'all saw in my Thanksgiving video, if you actually saw how my hands actually locked up on me, I got my gloves now, and um, I've been wearing and using those as I've been working on the computer and stuff. Um, I got the gloves from Amazon, and so I, I, I can't do catering. I, that's why I don't cater, because I got really bad hands. And I don't think me in the restaurant is not going to work. But what I do like, I like, well, in the first year, yes, Anna, I like my products. I like my silver tea flowers doing well. I don't know who got that Grandma Jackie um, pre-approved um, sweet potato pie mix that you can use it on your candy yams. You can make a sweet potato pie cake. You can make sweet potato pie, a sweet potato, a sweet potato cornbread. You can make some baked sweet potatoes and put it on there. Um, what else? Um, yes. And then you got, I got the spicy. And then we about to work on that silver tea cheese sauce. Yes, that's that, and that's what it is. And I love, I, I, I love the products. I love going into the kitchen. I call it my AKA lab and developing things. You should do virtual cooking lessons. I thought about that too, London. And I was trying to figure, I don't even know how to put that together, how it would work itself out. Um, yes, but um, right now what we're working on, and I told my brother, my brother said, girl, Every time I turn around, you trying to do something. I said, he said, you just dropped the, the um, he said, you just dropped the, um, the, um, uh, sweet potato pie mix. I said, I know. I said, but I think I want to drop this cheese sauce. So, the cheese sauce, y'all, because my, 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 um, my daughter-in-law, she buy that Velveeta's cheese sauce. You know, you could buy Velveeta cheese sauce and different things and stuff. Um, uh, somebody said, Zoom. Yeah, so I got my five people who the cheese sauce is gonna come to. I already starred y'all email. Y'all send me y'all y'all send me y'all emails, and I starred them. And I say right after Thanksgiving, everything settled down. I will be bring y'all the cheese sauce. And so yeah, and I like to and I like to speak things in existence, you know. And it's not that you know. I just wanna, I I I'm having fun with that on that end. I'm having fun. Um. I'm having fun with developing, developing um products that that's that's really good, you know. Low life, and you know what? And I don't even think I've seen your email, and I told you to see it because you know you was one of the five people, you know. So yeah, so um, I want to stay in that category. That's the category I want to stay in. I want to try to make um, make um, my. My name, I'm gonna be a Gloria. 
or uh, what's that lady name? Um, the, the the Glory Greens people, the Sylvia's. I want I want to be like her. Yeah, I ain't no shame in my game saying I want to be like her. Even though I know they got restaurants with them, but I want to be a household name. I want to be in your cabinet. So when you open your cabinet up, that's what I want to do. <laughs> oh, thank you, Okora. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna figure that out. So yeah, a sofa tea like that's what I'm trying to do. And if you think about it, I'm about I'm already three products in. I'm already three products in, and hopefully everything go well. I'm about to drop a fourth product. I'm already three products in. Come on there, and y'all know y'all been doing real well. Y'all been doing real well. Y'all been buying. Um, all the orders went out. Everybody ordered by Thursday. Anybody who orders that came in after Friday, you know, I you go stuff still gonna go out. But I don't know if you had it by Thanksgiving because I don't run the post office service. But everybody orders that went out on Thursday, I know you should have your stuff by Thanksgiving. It's a two to three day delivery. I wouldn't be surprised. Some people don't get their stuff today. We've been shipping stuff every day from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I've been having crates upon crates going out this house. I had so many crates going out here. My mailman ended up giving me some of those extra um melon beans because he was like girl he said he said wait a minute i knew you was doing something he said i said it's the holiday season i get busy around the holiday season he said i gotta taste this stuff you know what i did i gave my mailman a free flour and i gave him a free sweet potato pie mix and I said, here you go. And then I, and then my, he said, he came back. He said, I looked at your YouTube. He said, I look at that Thanksgiving video. He said, that thing was two hours. I said, yeah. <laughs> he said, me and my wife watched it. And she was so happy that I, 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 I was on your route. I said, for real. Because <laughs> he's new on the route um, and stuff. But yeah, so, you know, just keep sharing and giving. And even if you got giveaway free to promote yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, so you know, it, you got you got to do that. You got you can't be afraid to give away things for free. You know, because what you give away for free, I don't know him. I don't know his journey he's on. I don't know who he know. He could pass it on to his family members. And guess what? That's potential more customers. You know, he could tell his family. His wife could tell her family. Ooh, I got this from this lady, and she sell this, and you go here and get that. You know what I'm saying? So it's good to network. It's good to give things away. I'm not afraid to give away products because I, you know, we give away products. Products when we do the give back, I, I got products to give away. When we do the give back, I'm giving everybody a bag of flour and a bag of the sweet potato pie mix. Um, when we do the um giveaway next week, so yeah, so you got to because you know you got to spend money in order to make money, and I learned that, and so I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid at all. Well, I need a bag of flour. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so <laughs> y'all talk to y'all tell you I don't know, but I'm telling the I'm talking to Tia. You know how I'm if y'all be like going, I know how. Um uh, um but um Tia, you all know you always get flowers. <laughs> don't you try? <laughs> uh yeah, so that's what I wanted to touch on, guys. That I'm trying to come out of my comfort zone. I'm trying to not focus on my insecurities. But sometimes your insecurities can also be your strength. Because, oh, thank you. Sometimes you're, oh, I'm tired of all these magazines. Y'all keep getting all these magazines in the mail. Don't y'all think it's time for another, um. I just saw, I just saw an episode on Seinfeld. Kramer got mad at all these magazines. Yeah, Kramer. Uh, he tried, he tried yeah, to stop the mail. They came after him. Yeah, yeah, I be getting magazines every day. What y'all think? Y'all think it's time for another, um, what's that thing I had, Michael? What thing? When we do vision board. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all think it's since we got a new channel. Um, y'all think it's time for another vision board? Because I've been throwing magazines away. And I said I was going to stop because it may be time for us to do another vision board. With all these magazines. Oh, I said, when are you? Oh, that's a good idea, sweet D. Yeah, so I'm going to start. Uh, 
Yeah, for the new year, I'm going to go ahead and collect them. So I, last week and last two weeks, I've been done. And I'm talking about, why I keep getting all these magazines? I don't remember signing up for nothing. So, I'm going to start keeping, ooh, I'm going to, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I saw yours. I think it went out Thursday or Friday, Miss Nelson. So, yeah, you should get it Monday or Tuesday. I saw your Susie Q. When I put it out there, I said, this Susie Q. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about, you know. Or anybody, instead of, instead, of, instead of letting our insecurities hinder us and hold us black, hold us back, let's try to focus on them more and try to make them out, make them uplift us, make them, you know, make us, make them, make us step out of our comfort zone, make it work for us instead of trying to make it work against us. I allowed my insecurities to work against me for so long that I didn't recognize the person that I am. But when I sit and I think about it, it is some strengths in them. Make them your strengths. Don't let your insecurities be your weakness. And with that, and you know, you again, have faith in God. Is anything possible? Hey, time. Anything is possible. Yeah, facial issues you don't hide from them. Yes, that's right. And and because like I said, it could be your strength. And I'm just, uh, and, you know, like I said, we learn. We are a learning people. We learn every day. I will not wake up tomorrow without learning something for that day. You know what I'm saying? We learn something every day. You may learn one thing. You may learn two things. But trust believe, before you lay your head down on your pillow tonight, you have learned something new that you could take into your future with you, which that means your next day. We learn every day. You learn when you don't even know that you're learning something. And you sit and you think about it. Be like, damn, okay. I learned that, and you learn that. We learn every day. We pick up on something every day. Um, the brain is a wonderful thing, and knowledge is a beautiful thing. And if you recognize it, you will pick up on something every day. Before you go to bed tonight, think about something you learned. Think about something that you know that you didn't know that morning when you woke up. But now you know it, and you're about to go to bed. You're going to always know something. Thank you, Katrina. You're going to always listen. And I always tell my kids, leave, leave your mind open. Let your mind breathe because you're going to always learn something. Be focused because you're going to always learn something. You might not know it until a day or two later. Be like, oh, I learned. Oh, okay. When you figure it out, it may not come to you. It may not hit you in that moment. But we learn something every day. Look, you said, Moon said, I got 12 kids and I never stop learning. <laughs> You do, you do, you do, you do. I'm telling you, you never stop. You never, you never stop at all. Shoot, I know that feeling. And I got I got grandkids and I never stop. And I'm going to tell you something. My granddaughter, she's four years, she's five years old now. This is Sahara Waller. This little girl is so, so smart. And my son, Fufu, I told you before we came on, I was having a family conversation with my family. And I was showing Sahara the fingernail polishes. And I asked her, I said, um, do you want one of these fingernail polish? I said, you want a blue one? I said, I got blue, I got purple. She said, I like the red. I said, um, I like the red too, Sahara. I said, and I really like the red because Grandma Jackie, red was her favorite color. And she loved red fingernail polish. I said, so I'm going to keep the red. I'm going to tell you what little kids. Little kids amaze me every day. Me and Fufu standing right here looking at TV. This little girl came back around the corner. She said, well, Grandma, I don't have anything to remind me. She said her word was memorable. What Fabio's know the word memorable? 
She said, I don't have anything memorable to mind me of, Grandma. She said, you got things. She said, can I have the red fingernail polish? I picked it up. I looked at Fufu. I picked it up. I said, here you go. I gave her the red fingernail polish. It's her red fingernail polish. I gave it to her. She five years old. She came back, not just with a con, but with an emotional, pulled on your heart, tug at your loins, con. You couldn't say nothing but take it. That's what Fubu said. I said, Fubu, did you hear what she just said? Fubu said, that's what Fubu said. She got you. She said she knew what just to say to get you. I said, and how is this little girl? I asked Fubu. He said, five. I said, wow. It's stuff like this you can't make up. Kids are so naturally with it. You know what I'm saying? They have no cut cards. And how she just come out, she going to compare me to her and tell her I got more stuff to remind me of my mother than what she got. So she want the red fingernail polish. <coughs> Man, I handed her the red fingernail polish. That's all I could do. <coughs> I couldn't say nothing else. I'm going to say, now, nothing else. That little girl smart to be five years old. So, yeah, so. They brutally honest. Yes. Oh, yeah, this water tastes good, too. It got ice. I was outdone by a five-year-old. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Y'all remember that show, Smart Than a Fifth Grader? Man, I used to look at that show all the time, smart in the fifth grade. It was some smart kids, but sometimes I think that show was kind of red. Because I just, I, I kind of believe that show was red because I just, I just believe it. But I used to look at that show. <laughs> Man, I used to look at that show, smart in the fifth grader. Yes, that little girl. You used to look at that show. Yeah, I used to love that show. Wait till she get older. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Wait, she going to be a handful, Man. Yes, yeah, she is when she get older. Oh, this water is good. And I was talking. What's up, Pebbles? How you doing? I needed that. Yeah, so. Yes, welcome. Thank you, Daya. Welcome to all the newcomers. And yeah. Oh, uh, thank you, Lean. Yes, y'all. So, we, I got all these new excited videos coming up. We're going to have some traveling videos coming up. As long as, long, like I said, I'm about, I tell you, you said hi to you. Um, we got these traveling videos coming up with me and my sister and our family. Yep, it just came today. <laughs> Look. Uh. Uh, it just came today. It actually literally came before I got online. Um, it just came today, so I will be having the video of the finished putch. Only thing didn't come yet. I'm still waiting on the heater, and so I looked it up. It's supposed to be here today by nine, so the heat is supposed to come. But the other top came today, so we're gonna. And somebody recommend me to get the um, get somebody to do um to get the um the tie things. So I ordered those tie those tie things. Somebody told me get zip ties. So I ordered some, um, who's there? Extra, um, um, those things that you always get. Oh. That's my things I always get. Oh, the mail. That's a big old box. Let me see. Open the door. Stack. What? All this. Come right here. All what stack. the hell? Is that what you ordered? I, I did that! If you did, you probably did a typo. Oh. Oh. I can't bring that in on that one. You recording? Yeah, I'm not. Oh my god, I didn't know I did that. How many is out there? What? Not with 20. I didn't know what I was doing. How many is it? One, one, two, three. Yeah, that's a lot. How much was it? They free. You get them from the post office. 
Oh, and they really just gave you all those? I didn't know I ordered that many. I thought I just ordered, I just ordered two twenty, two twenty five ones. What is that? The other, that just said. What is this? This package is stuff you can send to. The, the boxes. How much money you spend on it? They free. You get for the post office. But I only posted the order just, only posted just order two. You don't read nothing. You Y'all, y'all don't know what I just ordered. I just did. The man is not on my door. Let me see. Let me see. Me one of those things, Andrew. Give me one. Okay. So, stop stomping. Stop. Stop. People been ordering like. Well, at least you got them. I got them. But we'll be putting all these things. People has been ordering like um, like eight, and nine, and ten bags of flowers and stuff like that. Then they've been throwing in the grandma jockey mix. So what I've been doing, if you one of the people you've been getting boxes, right? The order, the uh, flat rate medium boxes. So I, I, the one that I had, I had only three boxes left. So I went online to the post office. I just wanted two of these. I just wanted two flat rate medium boxes, just two of these. Y'all, guess what's up on my putch? 20 of these. I only wanted two. You get 25 to, to the package. They're free. They flat rate medium boxes. And for people, for the people that be going to eight and ten, because I be having customers order eight and ten boxes of flour. So I, I started using these right here. I only wanted two. I got 20 of these stocked up on my porch. What the heck? I'm going to do with all... I don't have no way to put nothing at. 20 of these. 20. And the post office actually gave them to me. I got my 20 of these stuck up on my porch now. And I didn't even know they even give you that many. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. You somebody said, but put in time. It said, God is preparing you for something. He prepared me for a whole lot of something because... I did not. Oh, mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna put them in my basement. I'm gonna show it to y'all because guess what? They stacked up on the porch. So now when I go do the video, <laughs> you know, I can't even think about it. <laughs> they free. They are they free. The post office give you the that's one thing I like about the so post office. The packages are free. The supplies, the boxes, the envelopes, they are all free. And I get the flat rate. And then I got 20 packages of 25 packs. So what's 20 times 25? Somebody do the math. I didn't think the post office to get that to me. I didn't do that. I only wanted two packages. I was I just wanted 50 of them. They have them on the back law. Somebody do the math. What is 20 times 25? I just got 500. They just did the math. I just got 500 of these boxes. <laughs> My son said, you will never read that. Yes. <laughs> but now I got to find somewhere to put 500. <laughs> like I said, I always oh, JJ Buster. Mm. It is what it is. Like, so, hey, Jeremiah. I love singing that. You know, I love your name, Jeremiah. Um, yeah, like I got said, God is preparing me for something. And... Because I never made this mistake before. I order these all the time. And um, I always see. That's why I'm trying to figure out why it's such a large mistake. I get these all the time. I never make this mistake before. So, and then for them to actually deliver them to me for free, that's, that's, that's amazing. You know what I'm saying? And you got to take it for what it is. Yeah. Never. I have a kitchen. I drink some water on that. <laughs> well, some of them said, hold on, I'm still counting. <laughs> yeah, something might be going out of these boxes. <laughs> and nobody, like, you're so wrong with you. <laughs> you said, hold up, I'm still counting. <laughs> He do, don't he, don't Susie Q? And I just love the way it rolls off. It rolls off. I just, I love his name. 
<laughs> yes, you know, he knows before you know. He knows before you know, and there's no mistakes. You write about that, D. We just gonna um put them up. Just gonna put them up. Hey. Okay, y'all. Yeah. And now I will have have a whole lot. Yes. You might say, okay, West Coast, I didn't even stop. So yeah, guys. So yes, yeah, so we got the upcoming video. Like um, we're up to $225. Um, uh, someone just um people miss all those boxes all the time. Yes. This is my first time ever, really. I never, and I've been doing this for what three years. I never misordered like this before. Always just get one or two, twenty five or fifty. I never did that before. Um, um, just don't know. The um, new boxes, new ventures. That's right, and that's how I'm gonna take it as a blessing. Like you said, you know, something could about something about to pop off. Maybe something about to pop off that I don't know about, and I'm gonna need it. To pe maybe people gonna start ordering multiple bags of um, flour because anything over four bags. I place in these boxes. Four I place in these boxes. So yeah. It's a yes, it may be Vicky Vlogs. It may be. But with that being said, y'all, I am. Yes, you know, I've been watching Insecure. I missed Sunday's episode, but I gotta go look at it. And I'm mad because it's the last season. Why you get me started on TV? If, um, whoever that was. Yes, I love me some insecure. But you know what? I'm over Issa though. I I, I uh now I'm not over the show. I'm over her. I'm over how she treat Lawrence. I'm just, it's just like I it's I don't know. It is something about Issa. I know it's her show, and but is this like lately she just rubs me the wrong way, and I'm oh and I'm so over her in that Lawrence situation. I'm over how she treat Lawrence. Um, she. I mean, I understand he the cheating it, and, and but you decided to come back, and then y'all broke up, and then um. And then, okay, he got somebody pregnant. Y'all wasn't together. I mean, y'all wasn't together, like, for a whole year and some change or whatever. He had a husband. He had, you know, he was in another relationship. You know what I'm saying? He was out, you was out there. You could have just easily got pregnant by somebody. And how would he better? You had no right. You had no right to be mad, to be upset. How can you do this to us? There was no us. Y'all was not together. Y'all been broken up for almost a year. So if this man within this year... Y'all not together. This man ended up having a baby. How is you upset? Okay, y'all got back together after years some time being apart. Okay, it's a baby on the way. It's not his fault. It's you can't be mad. I, I said, I said, this is stupid. I mean, she just I just can't with her. Sometimes I think it's like she wants everything to be perfect. It's like sometimes she look like like she um she always talk about the light skinned girl high and mighty. Sometimes I think Issa thinks she um hot and mighty. I don't know. It ain't nothing wrong wanting more for yourself, but you gotta pick your battles. You gotta know when to be upset or when to be yeah, she be tripping. Yeah. Yeah, and Nathan, the light skinned boy Nathan. You see what she did to them? You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, come on. She 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 started just to rub me. Cause you know, Kelly gonna always be my girl. Her friend Kelly, that, my girl funny. She funny, she funny. Um, and I'm over. What's her friend name? Um, her best friend name. I can't think of her best friend name. Mo pa Polly or Molly. I'm over Polly, Molly, or whatever. Um, Molly. Ma, I don't know what to say about Molly. She's she. I think Molly's starting to recognize herself. I think Molly is starting to recognize her flaws. And she's trying to fix it. And 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 and, and um Issa want it seemed like to me, I'm just gonna say it. Issa wanted everybody to kiss kiss her butt. It seemed like, you know, I know her and Molly had this out, had this, had this breakup, they friends, and you know, but it seems like me, Molly is still walking on eggshells. It's like Issa is the person in the group that everybody even want to be her friend. You 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 gotta you gotta be Issa friend. If you're not Issa friend, you ain't right. Sayings ain't right. So you can't Issa can't be mad at you or 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 you every, everything you do you gotta be done right by her. I'm just like is this her whole personality? 
is this stormy in this in this for in this in this woman relationship and i'm t I, I don't i don't want molly to stop walking on eggshells around her you know okay you messed up if she yeah you messed up and if she says she forgive you y'all working on your friendship why are you still tiptoeing around her you know what i'm saying things is funny sometimes you can't get stuff back when it comes to a friendship you know what i'm saying sometimes you can't get stuff back what's that Oh, that's the heater. Don't mess with that. That's the heater. Put it up against the wall. Right <laughs> oh, yeah, my heater can't. Y'all look been on. I'm being on here. Everything's just coming. Okay. Yeah, put it up against the wall out there. Ooh, y'all. We get to finish the porch. Y'all about to get a video on the porch. We get to finish this porch. Now I got more stuff to take off. I'm telling y'all. It's okay. But the heater is here. Anxious to see how it works. <laughs> hey, I can't wait. I can, I can get somebody to put it together. These damn boys. You know what Amazon? Y'all ever know the Amazon dudes professional um expert? They call it expert. It's in a box. It's in a brown box. You can't even see it. You're gonna see it in the video. Yes, more push, more movie nights. That's what Tim said. Tim said, wait till everybody find out you can you done top in the push and you done bought a heater. He said, she said, man, they about to be over here. <laughs> I said, oh my God. I said, I'm going to have to host a movie night up on the porch since I'm topping the porch off and I got the heater and I'm taking all that stuff y'all saw on the other side. I'm taking all that stuff down to make room up on the porch. So um I might have to do a movie night just to to um um for the heater and everything with them. Cause my family love they love it anyway. Mm. But yeah. But like I was saying, I don't know. I like insecure but e um um Issa character I think they just doing she is doing she's her courage is just a little bit too much for me. She just um it oh string lights. Let's go. She's gonna make me spend money. Why you trying to make me spend money I don't got? Cause you just why you just pop that in my head. Now, West Coast. Girl, why you do that to me, honey? Why you just pop that in my head? Cause I didn't even think about that, but now that you think about it, those little bulbs, little um string lights, the black one with the bulbs, they would be nice to go around the trim at the top. Mmm. Oh, uh, thank you, Miss Barry. Oh, uh, thank you. See now, I, I, I'm. You made me spend money. I'm trying to stay on a budget. No, Jack's talking about right. We on a budget. Oh, so see what's the next movie? Oh, um. Oh, but see that wasn't my popcorn machine. Unfortunately, that was my friend popcorn machine. I got a um, I got a um a little um desk popcorn machine. That was my friend Juliet popcorn machine. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but I think I'm going to go check out Amazon for some string lights. They can't cost that much. They can't. And the black ones to put up around there. Ooh, go ahead, y'all. Oh, she said, I can't have you for the lights. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, but that sounds good. I'm just seeing that that would be a nice touch. Okay, next movie night. Um, What? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Y'all, I don't know, but I just got finished looking at you. Do anybody know about you on um, Netflix? People been telling me about you. They've been telling me about you. I never gave you a try. Y'all, I started you about five months ago. I did season one. And then I started looking at season two. So when I started you yesterday afternoon, I was on season two, episode four. Honey, please go look at you. Go, Juanita, well, I, I was the same way. I did not want to see it. I was like, what is this man? Is this? I kept prolonging you. I just wrapped it up. 
the the the, the second half of um season two because I stopped at season two episode four, and then all of season three, and they say it's official. A season four is coming. This show is amazing. When I tell you, I just ordered the last bag of. Ah, oh, you did, you did. Okay, auntie. She said she just ordered the last bag. Now they're gonna go out on Monday. You know, I can't guarantee you'll get it by Thanksgiving, but it may come after. It'll go out on Monday, but I I can't guarantee it. Yeah, it was peer pressure. It was peer pressure. Best peer pressure ever. Best peer pressure ever. If you have not seen you, you are sleeping under rocks. I'm going to say that. I was under rocks. I just finished the third season, the second season. This show is so amazing, so well written, so well executed, so well. What they going to do next? What's going to happen next? I'm just going to say season two, season three, his soulmate. Mm. Y'all go look at it because we got to talk about that. <coughs> she said, send me a ham sandwich. There's no one eat ham. Oh, man. Yes, the ham gone, too. You got to watch it. I was reluctant. I was reluctant. I was reluctant. I was reluctant. But I did it. And best show ever. Also, the, so you hear people talking about it. They, they, not, they not embellishing it. They're not just saying it to get you to watch it. It is really. Oh, thank you guys. I really appreciate that. Um, I haven't looked at Wentworth because I am a fan of Orange is the New Black. And I feel like I will be betraying them if I look at Wentworth. But people keep pressuring me about Wentworth too. My daughter-in-law watches. My son watches. My daughter-in-law um, cousin um, watches. They keep pressing me to look at Wentworth. I haven't done it yet i haven't not done it yet somebody say when we is better um yes i'll be portraying even though the orange and new black don't come on no more that was my thing that was my show you got to watch start up well andre watch blow up hey taylor i say watch it okay i guess i'm how to do i gave in to you and it was amazing so I guess I'm going to give it to Wentworth. Maybe I'll start Wentworth today. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. Maybe I'll start Wentworth today. Now, I did look at a little bit um, of Wentworth. I looked at it up to the part to the riot. And the security guard, his wife got killed. Was his wife a warden or something? And then he started being nasty to all the girls. Because he, cause he was the only security guard that wasn't... Uh, that wasn't that name. Oh, it's my B day. Happy birthday tomorrow. It's your birthday. Hey, Taylor. Happy upcoming birthday, boo. Yes. Hope you enjoy yourself. So, um, oh, what's your cash app? Um, dollar sign. Mm, I didn't say it so much. Dollar sign 1717. No, dollar sign T-A, T-A, 1751. Dollar sign, thank you, um, Kern. Dollar sign T-A, T-A, 1751. Whew, I forgot. Um, yes, so um, I'm going to have um, the information for you guys about time Saturday, about Atlanta City to pop up. Um, come and see us on the 3rd. Where you hey, Polly Chicks. Make sure you come mass mandated. Um, you going I'm gonna vlog my adventure, my first time being on an airplane and getting all my insecurities and not letting my insecurities hold me back, but embrace them for they can make me a stronger me. It's like, oh, I got my power. I'm so excited. Yes, life. Yes, I'm so glad you got your power. Oh, yes, because we know, yes, because you yes, yes, I'm glad you did. Um, and what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, and then what else? We so that whole thing is gonna be that whole adventure. 
You know, my whole four-day adventure, getting there, going there, what's going on there, coming back, it's all going to be, at least, I, I'm trying to, look, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to, um, what did I say? I'm trying to squeeze as much videos out this little four-day trip. You guys, a four-day trip, I'm seeing about five or six videos, each one about 15 to 20 minutes long, you know, <laughs> it'll be my Atlanta City series, <laughs> my ATL series, <laughs> I didn't say no anything. I, 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 it's gonna be you. I, I'm gonna squeeze this about at least four to five videos out of them. Watch me, <laughs> cause I ain't going the way else until uh, <laughs> and we we may we may um we I told I told Jackson I'm taking him to Florida, so um we will be going to Florida. Um yes we is but next we said we gonna talk about me to go down there. So we may have Christmas in Florida, y'all. I really want to do it. I want to make it um, possible. So we may have Christmas in Florida. Oh, you get it, Monday. <laughs> okay. Okay. We go to Discord up on chat. Okay. And so, um, yeah, so we most definitely, I'm, I'm going to try to do, I ain't going to. I told promise a child, but I can have a good plane experience. If I had this good plane experience. I'm taking him to Florida because I don't have no little kids, you know, and Jackson's at the age now. He's 17. Uh, he He's 17. And um, he really don't act so much for Christmas anymore. He's more into electronics. He don't even do his little Xbox type situation stuff anymore. Only thing he want is this right here. So, and then my granddaughter, you know, I'm going to get her a couple of things, yeah, you know, so, how, uh, yeah, I know that. Um, I'm vaccinated. I'm vaccinated, so I'm good. I got, I, I, you know, me and my sister vaccinated, but, but you, but the way I hear you can still travel without getting vaccinated. You just have to get tested first three days or something like that. But then but that only depends on what state or if you're going out of country, like we going to Atlanta, Andrew is not vaccinated, but he don't have to take a COVID test or anything because he's not going like out of state. You know, he's not going international, you know, something like that. I'm yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I am amazed me. I already got that plan. My sister and everybody, my cousin already told me that too. Oh, uh, okay. Gina said she just got her booster shot the other day. Oh, okay. Bye, Jackson. Um, so yeah. And so yeah, so we um I, the vlog channel, I know I've been slacking, but we got Cause I just, I've been slacking. Ain't no excuses for it. I've been slacking, and it's been doing great. So I do appreciate that. So it's about to it's about to get back up the way it is. Because y'all, y'all guys are so amazing. I put up an eight minute twenty second video, an eight minute twenty second video on yesterday. Video got seven thousand views. Seven thousand views. I looked at it before. Um. Oh, it's pretty chilly here today. I looked at it before we got here, man. That is so amazing. I say, like, wait a minute, I got more views and I got subscribed. That is so amazing. A eight minute video on me just um starting the transformation of my front porch. I was I was really shocked. I saw it when I was setting up to come live. And I said, Michael, look, I said, the video got 7,000 views. And it's only eight. So thank you. Thank you so much to those, and to people who, you know, because it seems like people who's not subscribed are watching it. People who are subscribed are watching it. You guys make my view count higher than my subscriber count. I don't even know how that's even possible. Thank you for spreading the word about what we're doing over here in my family and on this new channel. Uh, thank you, uh, Mega Mix Me. So I have having fun with the balls. Like I said, I've been slacking. There's no excuse on the reason why. Just ain't been feeling like going out the house. But yeah, but it's going to happen. So you should get Sahara. A little lock necklace and put the picture of your mama jacket. In. Well, um, she already had because before my mom passed, you know, my mom had her little money and stuff, credit cards, and my mom knew, you know, she knew, 
and um, she has her breaststone. Um, my mom, before my mom passed, she gave Joshua and Sahara's mom her credit card, and she told them to go buy a um, a necklace with her birthstone and get it engraved um, from Grandma Jackie with love, and also the same with N.I. East. And so they have they they do have a gift that she gave them before she left us. And so she has her Sahara has her birthstone necklace that um yeah. What'd you say? I'll tell you what a birthstone is when we get off. It's like your color of your month that you were um born in. It's like it's like like I think mine's Libra. So I think mine's a sapphire blue or something. I can't I can't remember. I think mine's sapphire blue. Is September sapphire blue? Yeah. So yeah, so they had that, but that is still that is still a good um that is still a good idea. Most definitely a good idea. Yeah, you know, she was, my mom was scared, but she, but she knew. And and I think um, that was the hardest part of her leaving us <coughs> was that she didn't want to leave them. Man, that was not my grandchildren. Thank you, Mega Mix. That was not my grandchildren. My grandchildren was my mother grandchildren. Me, I just tell my mother all the time, "You are the great grandma. I am the grandmother." My mother said, "No, you're not. Them, my grandchildren." She was so in love with Sahara and Ais. She was so in love with them. When I say them babies ain't want nothing, them my mom was on a fixed income, but when she after she paid her bills, them babies, my grand, my two grandchildren. They ain't want for nothing. She was just buying them stuff. At Christmas time, she was just buying this, buying this, buying this, buying this. They had last year, they had so much stuff from her from Christmas. It was freaking crazy. It was freaking crazy. I helped her order the stuff through Amazon. And I was like, I was like, Mom, this costs too much. She said, I don't care. Just buy it. I ain't, it's, it's my money. Spend it all on them. This, this is what she, she said. Spend it all on them. And I was just wrapping her credit card up. She said, spend it all on them. She said, I don't care. Spend it all all on them so yeah yeah so um that's 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 how she was carrying it last year and you know it's our first year y'all i can't wait to jacqueline yeah so this is our first year so we doing good so far we didn't make it through thanksgiving what's up jackson oh somebody name it jacqueline yeah, got grandma's name. Wait, 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 wait. Jackie, is your grandma's name? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Jackie that was like Jackie. Don't say stuff on camera. Well, <laughs> 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 you know, it's not your fault, because you know why? Because you heard people call her Jackie. My, like, my son, Jackson, <laughs> Jackson just said, her name was Jacqueline? He said, I thought her name was Jackie the whole time. Talking about my mother. I said, don't say stuff on camera. That's Just don't say stuff on camera. But, she, but, but I understand how he thought his <laughs> his whole life that he thought Grandma Jackie's name was Jackie. No, Grandma Jackie, her 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 name is Jacqueline. And she spelled it just like the young lady just had it here. J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E. -E. Her name was so long that her mom didn't give her a middle name. She's um, and she said that's why she she grandma didn't have a middle name because she said her grandmother her mom said Jacqueline was so long she didn't give her a middle name. <laughs> but it's okay, boo. I, I love you. <laughs> That's my fault. I'm a, I'm on it. That's my fault. <laughs> well, he didn't know. <laughs> what? Yeah, before she got married. You're telling me that her mother was a woman. Yeah. And her mother was a woman. Yeah, so we got so grandma's maiden name before grandma was married. So that's how our last name is Waller. What you mean? Maiden name? That's her mother's name. That was grandma's mother's name. So we carry on the legacy of grand of your of your great grandmother who was my grandmother who was my mother's mother. We carry on her name, 
he carried on her name from her 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 name because her mother passed giving birth to her. So we carry on her mother her mother's name, her mother's legacy. That's how I that's where our name came from, Walla. Your name not little because grandma little was from grandma getting married. And when grandma got married to your grandfather, that's what changed the name for her name from Walla to Little. But we oh, carry the Walla, which is grandma's maiden name. That is grandma's family name. So we carry the Walla name, which is grandma's family name, that comes from grandma's mother. Boy, please don't let me. That, that's, 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 that's not get. That's not, what's the thing called with the families? We about to do the whole family tree right live on, on fly. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. What else? They say that before Grandma Peter got married, that was her name. Yeah. So basically, you telling me her mother, her mother, her mother, and from her, her mother, mother, her mother, her yes, mother, that's their name. Yeah. Wallace. Yeah. So basically, her family, her mother's side is literally all Wallace. Yeah. So we carry on her her side of family. Yes, we carry her family name. How about her sisters and stuff is Wallace? No, they not because yeah. unfortunately they had different fathers. So I think her mother gave them her their father's last name. So grandma's sisters didn't have the same last name as grandma. Grandma carried her mother's name, which was Waller, but her sisters and her her brother carried their father's name because their father either signed a birth certificate to allow to give those kids they last name. So that's how we got different last names from grandma's sisters and brothers, but they still related to us because they didn't carry their mother's last name. Grandma the only one that carried her mother's last name. So that's how we ended up with grandma's, my mother's mother's last name. But her sisters and brothers, they ended up with other last names because they had different daddies and they carried their father's last name. But grandma wasn't able to carry her father's last name. She kept her mother's. So that's what her children kept her name. And that's how we got our name Walla. Yeah. You got to tell. Boy, if you said wait one more time, can we wait till we get on camera to do the family tree situation? <laughs> yes, family reunion is needed. Yeah, and Basically, you don't know them. That's a whole. Yeah, it's a whole. It's a, it's a whole. It's, yeah, we got a large family, baby. That's why I'm just telling everybody the other day father. that we got this, y'all. So the grandma father. Yes. His family. Yes, yeah, the ancestors. Yeah, because it's uh, carefully giving out this information online, and there's a uh, hack. Cause this thing, mm -hmm, honey. Oh, I forgot. Well, we weren't doing talk about last names. He just want to know where his last name came from. Basically, I didn't give out no first name. It's a lot of Wallace in this university. Because I'd be surprised for a lot of people who have Wallace. I didn't give out any names. I just said our last name. Just tell them how we got our last name is by um my by my mother's mother. Got it from her mother. That was it. Um, it if you look up Wallace, there's it's so many Wallace in this world. It make no sense. But I didn't give out any first name. I just telling him how we got our last name. That's it. And maybe people can roll with that. I don't know. But I just said how we got our last name. We got it from my grandmother who got it from her mother. And that's tricky much how everybody got that name, last name. But, yeah. So, I don't think it's that much we was giving out. Um, but, um... Yeah, just be careful. Yeah, so yeah, I understand that. <laughs> well, I, just, I ain't give out no first name, no date, so now I understand where our last name came from. Yes. Okay, West Coast, I will. I see you on Discord. I see you on Discord. Mm hmm. So yes, we must. I was just telling. Um, I was just telling my family that we need to do a family reunion. I just tell my family that we need to do a family reunion, just because a lot of people don't know each other, and and you know as the years go on, we get more and more kids 
and to our family who don't know each other. And you don't want people end up dating each other because they don't know where they came from and or who's related to them. Because like I tell you, my son Andrew, he went to school three years. My son Andrew, um, cooking fish. My, uh, my son Andrew went to school for three years in high school with a young man. Didn't even know they were cousins until this. They popped up at my mother's. Popped up at my mother's. Um, Fourth of July, the last Fourth of July we had before the pandemic. At the last Fourth of July we had before the pandemic. Andrew, yeah, the one last one we had before the pandemic. Andrew was standing in the door. And Andrew was coming down my mother's steps. The young man was coming in the door. And he was standing there. And so when Andrew came down the door, Andrew, him, and I was sitting, I was in the kitchen. And, you know, the living room was full. When Andrew came down the stairs, he dapped the boy up. He said, hey, what you doing here? And they clapped up each other. And Andrew said, who asked him who he was here with? He said, I'm here with my father. And Andrew said, who's your father? And so he pointed out who his father was. And Andrew said, that's your father. That's my cousin. And, and I looked up and I said, honey, who's your father? So I asked the little boy, I said, I said Andrew, how y'all know each other? He said, this is my man from school. We go to school with each other. Been in school with each other, in high school with each other for three years. Talked in the hallway, went to lunch, hang outside the school with each other, conversations and everything. And so I, saw, I asked the boy, I said, well, who's your father? And so he went and got his father. I said, well, that's my cousin. That's my aunt's son. And and then my mother and I said, that's my mother's nephew. And so him and Andrew look at each other and say, So we cousins. I said, Wow. Like, oh, so they've been going to school all this time for three years with each other. Took a family barbecue. His father brought them to. And come find out they were cousins. I mean, and that's just crazy. And that's why we got to we gotta keep our family close. I mean, even the ones we don't like, you know, you got to keep them close some, to a certain point. <laughs> but we need to have family reunions. You know, everybody need to, um, everybody need to know each other. Get to, even if you get to meet, because you got to see that person at least one time so that you won't well, nobody actually had no babies with each other. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? We have to learn to know each other. We, I remember when I was growing up, we had a lot of family gatherings. When I grew up at beaches, at barbecues, at family backyards, I grew up at a um, once a year um, family reunion. It's just that over the years, things, people just start going, they going their separate ways, and, and people just lose track of each other. And then our babies having babies and having babies, and we just don't know who's who anymore. And you be related, you could be standing at a bus stop, and somebody at the bus stop could be your cousin. You don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? So and it, it, it is so crazy out here. So yes, we gotta stop. We got we got roll in our family. We gotta get back. You know, get back to knowing each other. And, you know, just is this that once a year to have that reunion so that we could put faces with people. So if you do run into somebody, you know that your relative, you know, hey, you're my cousin from so so or something like that. Yeah, so we got to, we gotta we gotta get back to that. And I was just telling my family um that we need to have a um a big a, a big family union. People don't give no more to say since my daddy, grandma died, yeah. Bro, when the monarchs of family died, it changes Yes, it do. When the matriarchs die, yes, it changes a whole lot. It changes a whole lot. So, and I was just having that conversation because we have a family chat. How many of y'all got a family chat? We have a family chat. We just started a family chat maybe two, three weeks ago. No, a month ago. It had been a month ago. We got a family chat. And let me tell you, it has been the best thing that has happened to us. You know, we had people had passing in our family right behind each other. We lost three important people in our family right behind each other. And then we came up with the Bahamas trip, going to the Bahamas, going to the Bahamas, and everybody had no information. So um, we have a family chat. And when I tell you this family chat is off the chain, 
Man, your phone be going on, but I love it. Two, take two days in a row, I accidentally FaceTime like seven people and they all hopped on the phone. And one time I FaceTimed them, I was eating the Arby's roast beef sandwich. Man, don't fall asleep my Arby's. The Arby's roast beef sandwich was so good. I ain't never had one before. <laughs> and I was eating the Arby roast beef sandwich. And I heard people saying, hello, hello. I heard multiple people say hello. And I looked down. I had sores on my face like this. And I was eating that Arby sandwich. And look at my brother. You know Antoine. I can't even say what Antoine said because Antoine made everybody laugh. They said she eating. And I said, I was like, who's this? Why y'all get on my phone? <laughs> I had about seven people on the telephone. Man, I was tearing that RB7 up. Because, you know me, I take all day to eat. And I think it was like 11 o'clock at night. I'm not going to lie. I did Uber Eats. I didn't eat all day. And everybody ate. And I said, what I want? And I got tired. I don't want no hamburger. I don't want no chicken. I wanted something different. And so I said, you know what? I never had Arby's. Let me try this Arby's. Man, <laughs> I had that Arby roast beef with some um with some cheese on it and lettuce and tomatoes. Man, I I, mean, I ain't going to lie. And I had the curly fries. I was messing that sandwich up. And uh, doing messing that sandwich up, child, and FaceTime seven people in the chat. And Eric, they was laughing at me. And of course, one of them had to be my brother, Chubb. And he always saying something funny, getting everybody laugh. It was just so crazy. And <laughs> no, no, it was so good. But I'm just saying that that chat has really brought us closer together. You know, everybody waking up to us saying good morning. Good have telling everybody have a good night, giving out all the love, how much we love each other, and just having what y'all want to do this weekend. You're trying to get the right. Excuse me, trying to get together. And it's just it's just it's just so crazy. And I, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? With everything that's going on, it made us it's not that we were already close, but just losing these three people so close back to back, it just like it changed the atmosphere for us. It made everybody feel some type of way. So now we all on this family chat, and it's just like and it's just and it's just and it's just crazy and it's like we are having such a good time on this chat with the jokes and the memes and people saying stuff to each other and y'all know my brother he in the chat is some that man is not right something is wrong with him anyway and so yesterday when i was outside filming the talk video um when i was outside filming and between filming i did it again I wasn't eating this time, <laughs> but I was trying to call one of my other sons at FaceTime and somebody phone number began to look like his number and I pushed it. I end up with four people and I don't know why every time I actually do it, it's always my brother. My brother like, here she go again. I was like, how y'all get on here? I say, I'm pushing buttons. Don't know what I'm pushing. And I didn't know I got a FaceTime this long with 17 people in it. And um, I know. Oh, thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. I know. But that is just, I'm saying that to be saying that reach out to your family, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Even the ones that you feel so that you don't get along with, you know, just reach out to say hi, do a check-in, Um, you know, get, get something going on, you know, because, you know, it's, like you said, we want our flowers. We want our love yous, our appreciate yous. Now, why that person could still feel it, could still hear it, and still enjoy it. And, you know, and we always talk about, oh, I wish we had that one more day. And the way this world is working, we don't know when that one more day is going to be. So, you know, so start a family Facebook. If you your family is on Facebook like that, Start a family Facebook. If your family on IG, like whatever social media platform, whatever way y'all talk or together, start something with your family that could really just bring you guys closer together. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we did. And we, um, I ain't know, you learned so much. I didn't know my family was crazy like this. But the chat has really brought us together. And, and, and it's every day. Somebody is on it every day. And people respond to each other. Don't nobody, no, don't nobody message go unresponded. 
And it's, it's just so crazy. But the joy that it brings to us, oh, my God, it's been amazing this last couple of months. Look, Jackson in the background talking about something. Yes. Jackson always got something to say. <laughs> He always got something to say. All right, guys, I'm going to be saying, and this is the thing. That's why I be eating a roast beef sandwich at 10 o'clock at night because what time is it, Jackson? It's 4.45, and guess what? 4.43. I ain't eat all morning. I think I've been up. What time I wake up at 9 o'clock? I woke up at 9 o'clock. This is all I had all day. Yes, I love my crazy family. Yes, I do too. This, this is what I had all day. And that's why I'm always, I eat so late. I, 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 I That's why sometimes I be trying to be like, why I'm so fat. I don't know, maybe because my eating habit is so messed up. But I eat so late. It's 445. I haven't eaten all day and I've been up since 9 o'clock. So with that being said, I am about to get off this slide because I'm about to find me what? Something to eat. And this is the thing. When I'm about to eat, it's going to be my dinner and my breakfast. You know what I'm saying? And I know Selena. And I know a lot of us don't have family. And you know, and I know that. But um uh, for those of us who do, but you know what? Family is not always your blood. Family is who you make your family. You got a lot of friends. Yes. A family is not always your blood. Because sometimes the people that you make your family are better than the ones that are your blood. I'm saying so family don't always got to be able it's that person that's been there for you that's that you there for them that person that's interactive in your life that person that you could count on you know what I'm saying trust and believe you look up and look around you got some family honey they ain't always got to be blood related it's the bond that you share with a person that makes them your family and that could be man and that bond could be untouchable so you look around you think about who's in your life who touches you, who's there for you, and you there for them. And trust me, you got family. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie, be prepared for those orders. <laughs> and then you got family here. Yes, tell her again, time. We are your family. And you know what? And that's the discord. A lot of people, I don't know if you guys know about it, Um, discord. I don't be on it all the time, but Low Life created Discord for our Soul Squad members because a lot of you guys had came to love each other, to respect each other, enjoy each other conversation. Um, so a lot of people, Discord, I don't know if Low Life's still in here. I don't even know if we can actually throw it in here yet, but um Discord is another place where um, all the Soul Squad members get together. They show what they eating. They talk about their day. They just have conversations with each other. They talk about what I done done on my own crazy old channel, whatever. That's a social media platform for the extended family that you have here on Discord. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so um, that low light, somebody said low light still in here. <laughs> I don't think we ever, we haven't gave out the Discord, um, the Discord, um, link in a long time but where's the it's a website and i'm telling you they be on there i be on discord sometimes i'm about to tell myself reading y'all things and may not respond because i sit back and read and i like um the way y'all i mean i like the way my channels have brought everybody together how my channel has formed friendship with you guys. You know, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if any of you guys have changed phone numbers, but I know Discord is another way outside of YouTube that Soul Squad members um come together. Yes, Jeremiah, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. So you just hit the link. I think somebody said um the link, I don't know if somebody could put the link up here real quick. Um, if, so because sometimes you got to go and make another link because I don't think the link lasts too long and it's free. Yeah, it's free. It's nothing to join. It's a sign up and you get in there and you get in there to start having conversations with each other. And that's like our social media link with us, with the Soul Squad family. So Low Light posted the link and I'm going to stay here for a few minutes. I'm going to stay here for a few minutes so y'all can grab the link. And you just grab. Tell us that Discord confused me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah.
And they be in there, they be talking. They be in there playing music. They be in there playing music. Low life, you would go into Discord and they got a they got a music app in there and they play music. They sit and listen and play music and talk to each other. I mean, it, it's wonderful. I, you know, I haven't been that active in it lately, but I, you know, when I see stuff, I comment, I say good morning and stuff, but yeah. Oh, there it go right there. Low light just put the link. Y'all look at low light. She got the wrench. Yes, Jacqueline. So y'all grab the y'all grab that wrench because I'm gonna find me something to eat. And then another reason why I don't eat. Sometimes I just don't be feel like it. You know, sometimes I just don't feel like it. And you ask to go to all you can eat. Um Andrew said, Mom, can we go to all you can eat on Monday or Tuesday or something? I said, I said, Andrew, we about to have Thanksgiving. He said, Man, I ain't been to all you eat in a long time. You know what I told Andrew? I said, I'm tired of eating. I said, he said, What you mean you're tired of eating? I said, I don't want to eat. I said, You want to go to all you my eat It could be a blow. They, you can show people all you can eat, and you could it could be a mukbang. But I said, um, I said, I'm tired of my Zach said, I'm tired of eating. I said, why everything got to be about food? I said, we could go bowling, do something. I said, I don't want to do no food. He said, but I, he said, but I want to do some food. <laughs> but do you ever get tired? I get tired. I get tired of eating. And that's some reason why it takes so long to eat. Because I get tired of eating. I know I got to eat to survive, but it takes me all day to literally to eat. Like I said, it's almost 4, 30, almost 5 o'clock. I ain't had nothing to eat yet. I've been sipping and dabbing on this water, making videos. I made this video before that. Then I got on here and did this video. And, you know, sometimes I just don't have time. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I only eat once a day or, you know, or my first meal would be 8 o'clock at night. And that'd be my brunch, dinner, lunch, and that's it, you know. I don't know how that be happening, but that's just how I be feeling because I kind of find out that been eating such eating all the wrong foods for so long, for so many years, I am now discovering that it wears me down and it takes away my energy. Cause and, and, and that's just the truth. And I tell my sister, I'll be like, my sister's like, you can't I'm do a video. I said, I can't, I don't do, I don't eat before I do videos. When I make my food videos or if I'm going down the street doing a vlog or doing something like that, I do not eat. I don't eat. I don't eat until I come home. Like when I pull my orders for my sit down computer, pull my orders, do my labels, we do our packaging, I do not eat. I don't eat. And my sister said, why don't you eat? I said, because if I eat, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to sleep. I have learned this about my body. I said, food. Because I have not been giving my body the right nutritionist, the right nutrients for all these years. Food has come to be my enemy. It wears me down. It takes my energy away. So if I want to do something or get something done or go to the store, I eat at the end of the day. If I got plans to get up to do something, go somewhere, do anything, I don't eat. I don't eat. That is my truth. And Tia, and Tia be laughing at me, but it's true. And I say that, and I told this to my brother, and I told to my girlfriend, because of, over the years, eating so much of the wrong food, now when if I do eat in the morning, it is so heavy. It weighs on me. It, it, it drains my energy. It makes me tired, and I get itis, and then I don't want to do nothing. I will literally have to, like, rest, sleep for two, three, four hours, and then get up and start my day. After that, what I ate has completely digested out of my system. Then I could feel that my energy is wrapping back up again. So that's why I take so long to eat. That's why I don't want to eat because if I'm active and do, or for me to be active, I cannot eat. And my body has recognized that. Somebody said, well, we'll take your plate. <laughs> And, and, and I am telling so true because I you ask my sister, I tell my sister this all the time. I tell this to my brother all the time. And they laugh at me and they don't understand. But I'm listening to what my body is telling me. And my body is telling me that it can't take food. Food takes away my energy. And two, I learned 
to get the proper nutrition in my body and redo what the right things to eat, food is going to always be my enemy at this point now. And I'm getting older, so I can really feel it. It's my enemy. And so, like I said, if I like today, this reason why I haven't eaten yet, because when I got up, I had a plan. I had to do my video. My makeup video, I had to do on or I had to do on the couch. And I was like, and I wanted to get this done without being drained, without feeling heavy, without feeling bloated, and without being drained and feeling that way. Oh, you got it on Wednesday. Oh, okay. And so yes, thank you, time. And so oh, thank you, chosen one. And so that's why. It takes me such a long time because I really don't enjoy eating anymore. I really don't. and Because I done had it all. All these videos and all these foods and all these things that you guys see. I've been eating this for years. Even from me, from my mom, from my family member, from grocery stores, from this, from that. I know what all this stuff tastes like. I know what it tastes like when I cook it. So... I'm not I'm I'm not amped about eating it. It don't it don't get me excited anymore. You know what I'm saying? I see food now. I hate to say it as the I ain't gonna say as the enemy, but I see the wrong type of food as my enemy now. You know? So yeah. And I'm being honest. That's 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 how I be feeling. And it, it, it's my truth. So when I make these videos, I don't get excited over the food. Because I done had it so many times. I know what it's like. I like it. No, I do, do not do any meal preps and I need to. But um, so yeah. I like to watch other people eat my food. I enjoy. That's one thing. I enjoy. Like when I do Thanksgiving, I won't eat. I never eat Thanksgiving. I never eat Thanksgiving. I eat the next day or I'm the last one eating and I eat very little of it. I sit back and tell everybody, come and make their plates. And I sit back and watch. And my friend would tell you that people always say, are you going to eat? Are you going to make a plate? I'd be like, no, I eat later. Or I, I'll be exhausted or I won't eat later and I'll just drink something and I'll eat tomorrow. That I have, that's, that's, that's me. And people don't believe, people look at me and say, oh, she lying, she a big girl, you know she be tearing stuff up. and this, that. No, I don't. And as I get older, I see my relationship with food is changing. You know what I'm saying? As I get older, my relationship with food is changing. So it's just like, yeah. Hey, Tony, how you doing? Yeah, so, um. You the same way, chosen one, yeah. And, and, and my family are that's how you're LB2, yeah. That's good. Yeah, and and, and, and that's how um and my my kids, my family, I tell them my, my sister don't believe me. But I think they believe me now because I tell them that and they actually see it for their own eyes. That's the way I roll. Oh, uh, man, Selena. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and then with that, that video, Selena, that was my first move. Yeah, my metabolism is off. And when I did that video, that was my first, that was the first thing I ate that day. I I haven't eaten. That was my first meal that day up until about, what, 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock that night? That was the first thing I did was I tasted a cake. Um, that's all. The press changed my appetite. Depression changed my appetite. I just don't love food and the things I used to anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. You said when you sold me a purse, I don't look that big. Well, thank you, LB. I tell you, okay, I take that. The camera pit about 20 pounds. So I... <laughs> she said, when I sold you a purse, you don't look that big. <laughs> the camera pit about like 20 pounds. So like, it put 100 pounds. So like... <laughs> <laughs> oh yes i do tell someone that is my thing i love it i love it i love it i love um entertainment and watch people eat and all this i know i know lorraine i know i know and that's just why i do force myself just because of that reason
Yeah, and everyone's body is different. Hey, star, my water is gone, y'all. Hey, y'all, so guess what? I got to go because I forgot my video is coming up at 6 o'clock, and I ain't put my thumbnail up. I ain't put my thumbnail up on my new video that's coming up at 6 o'clock. I know SA Graphics. Shout out to SA Graphics, y'all. She is really doing her thing. Got a surprise for y'all on this new video uh, when it comes up. I got an intro. I got an intro. I got an intro now. Yes. Excuse me. So I got an intro. It's only going to be a temporary intro because, you know, uh, thank you, Auntie. Um, because you know, um, vlogs was coming up, so we got to do our vlogmas intro, but I just got the intro. You guys can enjoy this intro for the next week or so, because when December 1st come, unfortunately, the intro will be changing again to our, um, uh, yeah, I could do cheer workouts. Yeah. I got my QB. Um, when, um, so y'all get to enjoy this big, this video for maybe a week, a week and a half until December the 1st. And then December 1st, the new intro will be up, um, with our Christmas vlogmas intro. So, but even though she made it, I was so pressed to use it because I was going to wait until January and use it. I said, I put my new intro up now. They can roll with it for a week. <laughs> and then, um, after that, it's going to change to the vlogmas intro. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I said, my wife is making... Lobster rolls, homemade. That sounds good, Tony. I would love to get one of those. I right, yeah, I'm about to go right now. All right, guys, I'm out. Thank you guys for hanging in here. I still understand how 315 people watching, only 234 thumbs up, but that's even here or there. I love you. I'm not doing no 12 hours on LB. LB said, just do it 12 hours. <laughs> Last week we did three hours. I didn't know it. Oh, Geraldine said, thank you. You welcome. Whatever it was, Geraldine, I didn't see it all. You guys have a blessed and wonderful Saturday. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Somebody will know who else is ready to watch. Um, I need you guys to look at you. Look at you. Look at you. So we can talk about that on Monday. Yes. But she's laughing. No. <laughs> Okay, who's that? T, please read my email. Arlene Jeffco, read my email. Arlene, I read your email and I sent you a message. You sent another one about was it too late to get some flour? Girl, you here. You want to come pick some up because you ain't going to get it by time Thanksgiving. You right here in the DMV. You want to email me. You want to, I, I sent you. Go back. Now go to your email because I responded to your email and I told you it wasn't too late. But if you didn't read it by now, it's too late to come in the mail. You in the DMV. You know where I live at. So um, come, you know, come pick some up. But I'm about to go read your email. Maybe you responded back to it. All right, y'all. I am out. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go see King Richard. Thank you, thank you so much. Guys, have a beautiful and safe Saturday. And I see you where? I see, you sent the new one? All right, I'm about to go, um, I'm about to go read it. Okay, baby. All right, what else did I say? Oh, see you in the blogs. See you in the blogs. All right, y'all, I am out. I love you guys. So, Scott, thank you for everything that you do. I am out. Say, I live in D.C. Yes, DMV. Make a green smoothie. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Everybody have a great night. I'm out, y'all.